Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. All right, it is an actually gorgeous day out. It's Friday, 64-ish degrees, a little breeze, can't complain. Got up this morning, did a bunch of work, and got my stuff together. Now tomorrow, kids, we're all in for some big excitement. I am going to pick up a puppy. Well, it's not really a puppy, it's a mama dog that's pregnant with little puppies inside and it's gone back and forth i was supposed to get two other litters of cats you know with with mama sons that just had babies but they ended up being rescued sometime last night so i don't have to get them and then there was another group that i was supposed to get but that they're not taking so basically tomorrow i'm going to pick up a prego doggy i'm bringing it back to hope for life so i you know now that i've taken the entire thing down and got my truck set back up then they need me to go. So it's all set up now and I will have footage tomorrow of, of getting this doggy. Yeah, so looking forward to that. That should be fun. A nice little excursion tomorrow. Something different again. I haven't done this since February. I didn't realize how long it's been, but yeah, it was like the end of February that I picked up the last doggy. So yay. Other than that, today is, has been very strange health-wise because I have felt, I don't want to say dizzy, but sort of discombobulated and I'm like what the hell well I think it was the day before yesterday I ran out of Sudafed and I thought to myself okay I seem to be fine so I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop taking the Sudafed and the Flonase I think I'm good yes there's a shit ton of pollen but it uh, you know I think I'm good to go listen up kids if you see pollen and you have allergies you're not good I feel like my freaking head is gonna pop like an overfilled balloon today. I am so disoriented from the amount of shit that, that must be in my sinuses and everything. It's pushing on my ears, so I'm hearing like this rushing sound, you know how it is? Like when you feel you got water in your ear, which I kind of feel like that in this ear all the time. Probably a diving thing, you know, uh, I gotta get that looked at. But bottom line is, my head feels like it's going to explode from, from the pressure of the sinuses and everything. So I immediately, this morning after I got done with work, went to CVS and picked up more Sudafed and took Sudafed and Flonase and everything. I'll tell you, thank Zeus for Sudafed because already within not even 15 minutes, half an hour, it already started to clear up. So now I feel like my normal shit but, you know, it, isn't, it doesn't feel like my head is really working its way to explosion. And, and that's a horrible feeling. I don't know if you've ever had a sinus infection, but it ranks up in the top five most painful things that I've, I've ever felt. And sinus infection, back going out, wisdom teeth, and being shot are the others in that category. So, yeah, it's awful. It's freaking awful. And sometimes there's nothing that can be done about it. And it takes a long time and a lot of medication for it to take effect enough that you literally, you don't feel like your head's going to blow up. It's been a long time since I've been like that, knock on wood. And let's hope it stays that way. Uh, right now, I'm just going to head to the Vibe District. Obviously, I'm filming this. I got my camera, you know, ever trusty A7R4 with me. And um, I'm just going to snap some pictures. Right now, I'm hot as balls in this truck, but I got the windows up because I'm filming. And I'm gonna go get some bean. I want some caffeine. So I'll be heading to three ships. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna do any more work. I've done plenty of that this week. I'll leave that to the rest of this weekend. You know, tomorrow again, it's gonna be a pretty good chunk of time because I think I've gotta drive like three hours-ish to go get this dog. So three hours there, three hours back you know we're talking a full day that's going to be that and i don't know how much time i'm going to have to to film or take pictures but i will take pictures of the doggo and film our little adventure definitely maybe sunday if it's nice enough out i want to try to take that ad pro uh, ad 200 pro on a stand out into the world with me and see if i can't practice on getting shots in the daylight outside where i can't control the sun and all that shit and i can still use the flash to counteract the sun i've always wanted to try that so i, I might do that this weekend we'll see we'll see what happens okay i'm here to get coffee so we're gonna do that now okay guess where we are kids squirrel all right despite the fact that i have re fetted and re my ears are still like popping and and full 
and it makes me sound funny to myself, not to mention the roaring and all that other shit. So, fuck allergies. But despite that, I wanted to come here and try something. And now that I've gotten here, I realized that I'm a dummy because I forgot to bring a tripod. So I'm gonna have to hope that there isn't anybody back here in the gazebo. And then you can hear me over the chats. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do here is take a picture of myself from a distance with this 85. But I always forget how I have to set this up. And apparently I'm connected to my Insta 1R. And that's not what I want. Okay, so I've got this going on a five second timer. My head is gonna explode from the pressure. And we're gonna try this now. Two, three. Okay. Well, that doesn't do me any good if I don't know if it took the damn picture or not. <clears throat> okay, so that looks like I'm taking a dump. I'm really bad at this timer here. Okay, I hope you got a kick out of that. That was me attempting to take a picture of myself jumping and doing it with the Sony imaging app from basically here all the way out there. So I've got pictures of me looking like I was taking a dump, like I was getting ready to fall, like my back went out, and a couple of good jumps. I tried to do it with a five second timer but I was horrible at judging when it was actually gonna take the picture. So I turned that off and just did it manually, but trying to hold onto the phone and push the shutter button without shutting the phone off and jumping in the air and looking graceful, mm, that was a little bit tough. So that's gonna take some more practice. But all in all, now that I'm getting the hang of this camera and figuring out how to properly use the imaging app, uh, I think it's gonna be a good tool for me and I think I might be able to get some interesting shots. All right, well, that's pretty much all I've got for today. We just sort of went out and about, caught you up on work and what I'm doing this weekend, and then took you for a little nature walk and showed you how ridiculous I look trying to jump and take a picture. So that really is all I've got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, oh, stung baby forward and up. <laughs>